Hello everyone, I have decided to do my second vlog in the basement. But I will not be showing you much of the basement today due to the fact that it is in a disaster mode. I decided to do my blog on Father's Day due to the fact that in a couple of days, Father's Day will be coming up. I will not be celebrating Father's Day with my biological father this year due to the fact that I am living 152 miles away from my biological father. Everyone who is born has a man in their life that they call their father, regardless if it's blood or not. You might even have a lot of stories that you could tell people about the things that you did with your biological father. If it was going to dinner, or going to a dance, or going for a car ride, or going on a vacation, going fishing, whatever it is that you can remember that is your favorite. I have tons of stories of things that me and my father have done over the years of me growing up. The biggest thing is him and my mother showed me what a real marriage was. My parents have been married over 30 years, and they do not believe in giving up. I didn't give up by trying to find a good man that would love me and take care of me and provide for me and just be there and just support me in anything that I possibly would want. And I met him, and he is the love of my life, as I explained to you yesterday. I hope that one day, as years go on, Daniel decides to call Adam his, his father. Daniel's biological father is a piece of work. I would be here all day to explain to you why he is a piece of work. But after all the disaster of four years that I have spent with that man, I've decided that Daniel does no longer need to be in a man's life like that. Sometimes people do things and they... Get judged for them. Well, I feel that he is a bad influence for my child for the simple fact is of his past. He does not know the responsibility and the definition of father. He prefers to do childlike things instead of being a parent. So for the couple of years... That the couple of years that Dan he was not in Daniel's life, I was his father. Of his father. I hope that this year he might not remember, but I sure will. Spending the first Father's Day in our new home and that one day I can tell him about it. I want to salute and give a very, very deep thank you for the men out there who decided to step up to the plate and be a man and be a father and provide for their children. So thank you, dads, fathers, papas, who whatever your child decides to call you. A happy Father's Day, and I hope that your day is special. 
Bye-bye.